He looks at a few people. Hey, look at those that went up to Asha. And he told them, up to Asha, go down to Asha. El Sislon is Ramallah. That means they thought they would go up to Asha. Now, came rich, wealthy, politically influential. They went up to Asha. Look at those on Asha. There they bowed it low. It's like a, a, a wild donkey goes in the woods and has to leave alone because all the other animals uh, go away from him. They, they, a wild donkey is bad company even for his fellow animals. has to always be alone. Look at those people that went up to us. Look at them. And they want to stimulate. Over there, we were also very much isolated. Like a pere amongst the animals, bowed it low, is always alone for himself, because the other animals don't want to have any company with it. So was the Jew in the Gentile world, became rich, became wealthy, built himself a nice place in somewhere in Nineveh, or whatever it is, one of these places. But he became still, was a pere bowed it low. So, Ephraim is no Arovim. Eventually, Ephraim has to hire that uh, Arovim means lovers or, uh, or expressions of love. The word Esnan is related to the word Tanai. Actually, what are you giving, giving to me? Esnan, what are you giving to me if I love you? This is called the Esnan. Esnan zone. Now, um, since you compare Amodazola with Zenos, and that means you a fine is the Aseros Hashvotim. They pay a price, a very expensive price, and they shower the Gentiles with gifts. They give them tribute. They give them uh, all kinds of 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 uh, of, of uh, signs of friendship. These are these are the uh, the the uh, uh, esnat. This is the esnat with order to get uh, friendship back from the Umasa Olam.